Ever wondered why your neighbor, who drives a modest sedan, has a gold credit card while you're struggling to upgrade from plastic? Is it a status symbol, a financial superpower, or something else entirely? Let's dive into the world of gold credit cards and uncover the truth about their elusive limits. Imagine this. You're in a high-end store, eyeing that designer outfit or that latest gadget. You whip out your shiny gold card, expecting it to be your golden ticket to instant gratification. But then a pang of doubt hits you. Is your limit high enough? Can you actually afford this purchase? That's the million-dollar question, isn't it? The allure of a gold credit card is undeniable. It's like a VIP pass to a world of exclusive perks, from airport lounges to concierge services. But what truly sets it apart is the promise of a higher spending limit. So, what exactly is a gold credit card limit? Is it a fixed number etched in stone? Or does it fluctuate like the stock market? Well, the truth lies somewhere in between. Think of a credit limit as your personal spending allowance. It's the maximum amount your card issuer trusts you to borrow. Now, when it comes to gold cards, the starting limit is generally higher than your regular plastic. But don't get carried away just yet. The amount you're offered depends on several factors. Your credit score is the kingpin here. It's like your financial report card, showcasing your borrowing history and ability to repay debts. A higher score means a higher potential limit. Your income also plays a crucial role. Card issuers want to ensure you can comfortably handle the monthly payments. So, a fatter paycheck could translate to a larger limit. But here's the kicker. A gold credit card limit isn't set in stone. It's more like a dynamic figure that can ebb and flow. Your spending habits, payment history, and overall financial behavior influence its trajectory. Consistent on-time payments are your best friends. They show the card issuer you're a responsible borrower, and that's when the limit love starts flowing. On the other hand, missed payments or carrying high balances can send your limit plummeting faster than a rock. Now, let's talk about the big question. Is a high limit always a good thing? While it might be tempting to splurge like there's no tomorrow, remember, it's about responsible spending, not reckless abandon. A high limit can be a double-edged sword. On one hand, it offers financial flexibility. You can tackle emergencies or big-ticket purchases without breaking a sweat. But on the other hand, it can tempt you to overspend. The key is discipline. Use your gold card wisely. Treat it like a tool, not a toy. Create a budget, track your expenses, and pay off your balance in full every month. This way, you'll enjoy the perks of your gold card without falling into the debt trap. So, there you have it. A gold credit card limit is not just a number. It's a reflection of your financial health and behavior. It's a privilege that comes with responsibility. Remember, the golden rule of credit cards is to use them wisely. Don't let the shiny allure blind you to the potential pitfalls. Build a strong financial foundation and your credit limit will naturally grow. With that said, thanks for watching and until next time.